Another story that's on the headlines is uh, that of uh, the horror crash, uh, but it also continues on page five of the standard, and this is uh, the accident that took Nyeri governor's life, which of course was very tragic, a shock to the whole country, and very, very sad given that uh, this was his uh, second attempt at becoming governor in Nyeri and successful one. In 2013, he tried, but was not successful. And details coming out that it may have been a tire bust that uh, uh, possibly made the car lose control and get into a guardrail. And of course, this looks like it was extremely um, painful given the fact that the guardrail literally pierced through the car right from the front all the way to the back and uh, this would probably be the position where the governor was seated back left and of course um, taking his life mm -hmm. very very unfortunate situation that we are still mourning as a nation and especially for the people of Nyeri and how hopeful they were in as far as their governor was concerned we really feel deeply deeply saddened by this entire situation and you know we wish the people of Nyeri well together with the entire nation but you know moving forward we have to reconsider issues of our roads and road safety and issues of emergency response so that we can be able to at least move away from some of these uh, challenges that we constantly Face. Yes, and one of the things that's being highlighted now, even mm -hmm. after this accident, is the issue of guardrails. Because this guardrail, ideally, is meant to be a lifesaver. Yes. It's meant to be one that stops the vehicle from, uh, you know, going into whatever terrain there is. Maybe there's a cliff there mm -hmm. and going over, but ended up being the very weapon that killed him. Mm -hmm. And I saw pictures of several ac similar accidents. Yes. And after reading a few um, things online and elsewhere, Apparently, there is meant to be a way a guardrail is bent at the end mm -hmm. to ensure that this does not happen. But this is not the case. Yeah. Actually, as I was driving yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, it, it really came to my notice that uh, all of them, are, um, the guardrails that we have, are all left bare at the end. Mm -hmm. In which case, if you drove into them literally, mm -hmm. they become a spear. Mm -hmm. It's true. But the other thing is that we need to realize that we tend to really interfere with some of these infrastructures, Kenyans, because uh, some Sometimes we do not want to play by the rules and people want to cut across, you know, sections of the road that they are not supposed to. And because of that, then we face some of these challenges. But as you say, it's very true that we need to be able to, you know, as uh, the people who are concerned with matters of road safety and road construction need to, you know, plan and be very careful and uh, have safety as priority in terms of developing this uh, infrastructure. Yes. And again, like you mentioned and highlighted, emergency services again would come into use cause mm -hmm. also looking at some surveys and figures and statistics, apparently there is quite a huge number of people who actually die on the road, not necessarily because, well, because of the accident, but had they been handled differently yes. at the point of and at the scene of accident, there's what in uh, 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 first aid they call the golden hour. Mm -hmm. That one hour between the time the accident occurs and when you get to hospital yeah. is what they call the golden hour, and it can be. Uh, a matter of life and death, mm -hmm. depending on how you're handled. It's very true. We need to invest more in our emergency uh, response uh, systems. We and then we something else that also you know came out of this is that so many times when things like this happen, it's very unqualified people that reach out as first responders. And of course, we know that they they mean well and they wish well, but because of that lack of experience and lack of know-how, sometimes it ends up to hurt the people who are victims of this kind of accident. So it's true that we need to invest more and more into our emergency respond uh, systems so that we can be able to deal with these challenges. All right. So, mm -hmm. of course, we'll keep tabs on uh, this as uh, they continue to mourn um, and the country continues to mourn and also as the funeral arrangements are made. Let's now look at page.